The Last Full Measure. This is actually not a movie I was actually, like, intending to see. I thought I had saw a poster for it, but I didn't actually know the title of it. I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was, like, coming out later this year. I didn't think it was coming out, like, literally this weekend. I thought the only movie coming out this weekend was The Turning, which, um... Yeah, we'll see how that turns out if I end up seeing that one on Tuesday, which may not happen, but we'll see what happens there. Uh, the last full measure if, is about uh, this, I don't even know what you call him, kind of lawyerish guy who works for, for Washington, D.C. or whatever. I mean, I, I'm going to give a very bad description of it because I would miss part of the movie, but uh, I didn't miss the majority of the movie, so I just missed like this set up a little bit. Um, the movie, because there was like no, no previews before this, so I, it was kind of like, I, I always have to go to the restroom before I go into movies, but the movie literally started as soon as I walked into the theater. Like, it, bam, it was on. Um, you know, so there's this guy who, he saved a lot over 60 men in, during Vietnam and he wasn't actually given credit for it and all these different things. And so they're trying to get him his award he deserves for what he did and this whole complicated thing. And so it's kind of this man interviewing all these uh, people who were involved with that day in Vietnam and it's this whole interesting, great story. And there's just, for a rated R movie, I didn't really think this was a rated R movie, if that makes sense. Uh like, when I think rated R war movies, I, I think excessive gory blood uh, language and things like that. 1917 had a little bit of that. In fact, this is nothing compared to 1917. Um, but this is a great movie. Uh, it's I could pretty much cut this down to like a PG-13 if you really wanted to. But I don't think you should. I think it would break what this film is and it's saying a lot about um these soldiers and what they go through and just just how kind of bad the vietnam war because the vietnam war was garbage it was a garbage war most people agree that one of my favorite music artists uh ever is bruce springsteen and he wrote a whole album about how mistreated the soldiers after Vietnam were uh, mistreated. Uh, that album is called Born in the USA, and the song on that album that talks about this is Born in the USA. So, great album, great song, and you should just listen to anything Bruce Springsteen because uh, I love my boy Bruce. Uh, his music, anyways. I don't like his politics. Though he was very right about Vietnam, but I just don't like him nowadays with his, like, anti... Um, um, let's just not worry about this. I don't need to bring politics into this. But I was just, I'm just saying, I brought up Bruce, and I just had to talk about Bruce for a minute. I should do a video on Bruce Springsteen, my love for him. Um, but he, you know, so uh, Rambo is also kind of about that a little bit, the first Rambo, or which is just not even called Rambo, it's first blood. But yeah, it's a, you know, that's how I feel about that um and i think a lot of the cinematography there are entire shots in this movie that i thought were actually pretty good overall the cinematography was okay but there were some really good shots though that i, I specifically am like i'm i'm seeing him head right now and it's just a really pretty image um all the performances are pretty good and in most of the movies just these men talking and it's most of it's interesting Though I do think this movie should have been edited down a little bit and been a little bit shorter because I feel like there's a too much dead air in between these conversations and things. It's just, it's on, it, I zone out more than a few times. Overall though, I think this movie is pretty good and I think you should check it out if you're interested in it. Um, honestly, you should look up this movie for yourself because I'm uh, I'm obviously not giving the best description of it. But I did think this movie was good, and I would recommend it. I don't know if I would call it better than 1917. I feel like it is, but I don't know which one is better. I feel like 
1917 does a worse job of showing the harshness of the war compared to this movie. But maybe that's just me. I don't know.